Costa really? Yeah. Is it open now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Welcome to my English video. I'm so excited, guys, <laughs> and nervous, of course, because it's really a big thing for me because I am talking English. Just I will talk only English in this video because it's my English video. <laughs> But before I start, I want to say something. Know that I'm not perfect in English. I'm not perfect talker in English because I can make mistakes and it's not my mother language like the other people. Please be kind with me. <laughs> so we can start the video and I wanna reply this first question for me that uh, you always ask to me, how you learn English? Uh, you know, in school, in primary school, we start to learn English from first class to until finish high school, then university, blah, blah, blah. It's a long journey for us. This time, when I started to learn English, it was very... Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was very interesting for me. Like, when I started to learn English, uh, I said, yeah, it's so enjoy, because uh, learning a new language, new things and different, it come to me so enjoyable. So, I love it, uh, this language, firstly. Uh, maybe because of this, my language become like this, but maybe not, I'm not sure. Because I always like this language. I always like English all my life <laughs> until now. So I was always reading something English. I was many movies in English, many accent, American accent and um, England accent like this. So I think... The, Any language, if you want to learn, firstly, you have to love. You have to be interesting about it. If you are not interesting, so it will, it will be very boring for you. Then you can move, you can improve yourself in, in this language. So firstly, you have to love, I think. Yeah, it's my journey. It was like this. I didn't go any course for this, just only my uh, school journey. I learned English, then I made practice with people. Uh, foreign people, then I improve my English like this. So, if you want advice from me, how can I improve my English? How can I make better my English? First thing, what you learn before in your school, make them fresh, renew. Like, I know you learn present tense, future tense, uh, simple present tense, blah, blah many many tenses you learn many grammar you learn but still you don't know how we can make sentences right so open your books or open any english website on the internet and start from beginning like how we can make sentences from beginning so i mean like learn basic things learn basic grammar like simple present, present tense, past tense and future tense. This time you will know that how we can make sentences. It will be very easy. First time when you learn it, it will be very hard to make sentences, how we can make, how we can make. But with thinking, uh, with your brain, uh, by time it will be very easily, like it will be um, reflex for you, like how we are talking Turkish or in your mother language, then after it will be um, like your mother language. And by the way, we are taking a video in a park, so many people is here. And you know, in Netherlands, many bicycles, <laughs> they are everywhere. So, sorry guys. <laughs> And the second advice, please memorize the verbs, like basic verbs wake up sitting like what do you do in a daily wake up wash your face eating cooking sitting playing you are doing 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 yes so in a daily basic words please learn these verbs and memorize them so when you want to make sentence and when you want to talk then you will remember them and you will make sentences very easily and with using it will be Uh, permanent in your mind. Third advice from me, it's really important, making practice and translate something. 
me, what I was doing before my English uh, like this, I was always trying to translate something Turkish. I was following some page from Instagram. It can be your hobby. So it can be about your religion, Islamic page. It can be makeup or uh, news, news page. Uh, you can read them. Like you can read news from world. So uh, follow, follow them. Then when you saw any post from them, Try, try to translate them to Turkish. Try to read and try to understand. And if you don't understand, please translate. Don't be lazy and please translate. Because I was doing always like this. I was uh, following some Islamic page. They were English. When I saw them and I was trying to understand, then I was translating every each word to Turkish to understand very well. To Google Translate, I was always use it because it's very easy. And I know it's not the perfect translate. Uh, some people use Oxford or like these apps. Um, also, you can use them if you know better, better apps, you can use them. When you start to translate every day, every day, every day, they will become permanent. You will remember them and you will use all these words in your life. It is really classic advice for you this is watching a movie and series i was always watching series from netflix it doesn't have to be only netflix you can watch any series any movie from internet on youtube i can advise to you friends it's real classic advice but it's really good because parts are very short like 25 minutes or 30 minutes then it's finished fastly you learn many new sentences patterns and you can learn jokes it's not easy to learn from books or internet because it's talking when when they are talking they make many jokes each other so you can learn many jokes many sentences then with hearing your accent will be more good accent is more important if your accent is not good this time who is next to you she or he will not understand you and please when you are watching the series or movie please watch it for learning something i know it's it will not be enjoyable too much but please when you are watching don't focus only only to subtitle focus what they are talking how they are talking you can watch videos from youtube but with english subtitle know that uh, from beginning watching with english subtitle it will be hard but by time when you try to uh, translate them to turkish and when you try to understand them it will be it will become more easy for you just by time be patient and try it <laughs> my last advice for you fourth advice this is chatting there is many application for chatting with foreign people you can download them and you can find friends for yourself for chatting but just be careful because uh, these apps uh, can be sometimes <laughs> dangerous because uh, everyone is not a um, good person you can trust them but use these apps only for chatting only for english only for improve your english and no more please <laughs> so uh, with chatting you will make practice and be sure your language will be more 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 good i want to say that why english is much important for you because if you want to enter any job in work they will ask you do you have any second language much people have already the second language and they are looking for third already so you have to make english finish already so you have to make yourself yeah i know english already so you have to come this position for enter a good job and the second thing if you go another country everything will be so easy for you because you are sure that you will find the people who is talking English in there. Be sure, because any country, any place in the world, <laughs> you can find a people who is talking English. So if you need help, if you need something, you can talk English and you can make good communication with people. And then, like for example, for myself, uh, I never scare when I go to another country because I know that I can 
talk with people, I can make good communication with them. And if I need a help, I can, I can solve it with myself. I don't need anyone. I, I don't need to translate because translate is wasting your time. And the other thing, when I saw anyone foreigner, I'm never scared to talk. I can go and talk or if foreigner or someone ask to me any question with English, I can reply easily. This is another advantage for me. I know many people who, who saw foreigner one and foreigner try to talk with him or her. She's scary, she feels very shy, she's trying to talk English but very hard to make sentences for her. So this is another advantage of English. Mind is become more open. If you are searching something, you are not only searching with Turkish or with your mother language. <laughs> and when you start to uh, talk English, you can reach many English researchers and you can make your search on them. But sometimes you can't find in, in Turkish language. So you have to search with English. I'm sure many subjects you can find in English letter. You can find many English documents about it. So it make your life very easy. Yeah. And I want to say something last. <laughs> uh, don't forget guys, if you want to learn any language, firstly, you have to make this for this thing. Reading, listening, writing, then you have to use it. So it's practice. You have to make practice. If no practice, all that you know, they will fly, <laughs> they will go away. So please, please try to make this for. I know it's not easy, but by time and with love, it will be very, very, very good for you. I hope this video is useful for you and when you are watching I hope it, you enjoy and I hope I didn't make much mistakes because <laughs> still I am improving my language. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like if you like my video like, subscribe and write comments. Bye bye!